Bhagavad Gita, text 3. Behold, O Master, the strength of the Pandavas, military formation, wisely arranged by Drubhata's son, your disciple. Drun Acharya was wise for approaching his martial guru. Drun Acharya, at a time of great necessity, yet more politically wise than spiritually. Here, his tenor is filled with sarcasm. Although he approached his guru in form, the spirit of his approach was to instruct. He approached Drona to induce him to fight harder for his cause by mentioning that the Pandava's army was arranged expertly by the son of Drona's old enemy. Duryodhana considered that his teacher, Drona, was to an extent the cause of his difficulty, for it was Drona who out of impartiality had instructed Drishtadyumna in military science and now it was Drishtadyumna who arranged the military formation of those who opposed him. Drishtadyumna was Drubhata's son. He was born out of Drubhata's desire for revenge against Drona. After Drona sent his best student Arjuna to capture Drubhata for breaking his word of honor, Drubhata performed a sacrifice to get a son who would kill Drona. Drishtadyumna was that son. Drona knew this, yet he did not hesitate to instruct him in military science. Owing to his commitment to his dharma as a teacher, over concern for his personal safety. At the outset of the battle, Duryodhana proved himself to be well versed in politics and diplomacy. In form, he was competent to lead, but he lacked spiritual substance. Substance aside, artful was his speech, and its implications far reaching. Knowing that Trishtadyumna alone might not be considered sufficient cause for concern, he pointed out other prominent members of the opposition, mentioning those who might trouble Drona, who, along with others, was only circumstantially on the side of Duryodhana.